We all recall that green guy with the heart that's three sizes too small. He's on TV and in theaters and pictured throughout the mall. He's voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch and played by Jim Carrey. He's the Grinch dressed as Santa and a little bit hairy. I thought it good to compare the Grinch and COVID-19, both depicted as green, despicable thieves and mean. The Grinch stole Christmas from those lovable who's. The coronavirus has got us all singing the blues. We're not quite sure how it happened, for it happened quite slowly. For it started quite small when we were feeling quite lowly. It was that day in the winter when cases began to appear. It had arrived in Canada. No denying it was now here. Then school was cancelled for six long months. For fun, neighbors participated in scavenger hunts. Vacations were cancelled and summer camp was a bust. Toilet paper sold out, sanitizer and masks became a must. No baseball, no soccer, no invitations to parties or dinner. Tempers have simmered and patience has grown thinner. We're tired and weary and ready to scream. Nothing is right, or so it would seem. Despite all our trying and our best of intentions, that Grinch found a place in our hearts in record-breaking dimensions. Yes, that Grinchy feeling began to take hold, and our hearts, once warm and content, began to turn cold. We got too busy to serve others, too worried and distracted to care, and all of a sudden, our hearts just didn't want to share. We didn't do it on purpose. We thought we could do it on our own, but deep down inside, we just felt empty and alone. So that Grinch started taking up room in our mind and to God's love, hope, and joy, we began to turn blind. But before you start squirming and begin to cry, this isn't the end of the story. It's not time to say bye. The Grinch did not steal Christmas, neither will 2020's mysterious sickness. For though my message starts off sad, a Christmas Eve downer, there's hope that God's grace is the big turnarounder. For there's joy in the Christmas story, you know. Joy that can grow hearts and return that bright Christmas glow. We just need to remember the story we once knew. 
the story of a savior born for me and for you, the story of faith in quite troubling days, the story of Jesus' birth, which has the power to change the darkest of ways, that story of Mary, who when asked to be Jesus' mom, said yes to God, and though scared, proceeded with calm. Even though this story took place years ago in a far off distant land, there's a lesson for us here. Similar times are at hand, for it all sounds quite familiar to our own daily struggles. Life can also be hard and lonely for us stressed out road weary muggles. This story of Bethlehem long ago reminds us of what we forgot. For life has a way of telling us all the things that were not. The who's still saying, though their presence were all missing. It wasn't because they were sitting around reminiscing. They were declaring the presence of the light amid the darkness. They were singing and praising in the midst of the starkness. As they joined hands and voices, Christmas was present. The joy in their hearts was a true antidepressant. And the story of Jesus' birth, we all know it by heart, but we anxiously listen for each little part. For something magical happens in the retelling. When we hear them again, our grinchy small hearts all start swelling. Stories like these become a part of who we are, and the cold alone feeling starts to seem far. Sometimes when we retell them, we receive comfort from the past. Sometimes a new angle gives our foggy brains a blast. And I can't help but wonder if this year we're supposed to remember that the message this year on 2020's 24th of December is that Jesus' birth signals a new beginning for our world. Old traditions, old ways have now been unfurled. New aliveness and love opens us up to rethink, rediscover the world and wonder with a blink. Remember the journey Mary and Joseph had to take, the birth of a baby with no fanfare or cake, no normal bed or normal house, just a stinky stable, oxen and donkey and a manger for a cradle. On that dark night in such a humble place, God's light began to glow for the whole human race. The gift of a baby, the gifts of hope, peace, joy, and love. The most precious of gifts from our heavenly parent above. Sometimes we all feel like the Grinch and stumble in our ways, but God loves us and never leaves us not one of our days. The Grinch didn't steal Christmas and Corona can't either. They just have a way of making us change our procedure. Christmas is really about Emmanuel, God with us, after all. God said, let there be light, not just tonight, but for the long haul. Christmas is a process. It's not just an event. It's about new life, new creation. It's time to reinvent. May your hearts swell three sizes or more as you go. For the meaning of Christmas, you've been reminded, you know. Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer. Cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp so long as we have hands to clasp. Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have we. Good riddance, Grinch, good night, virus. Thank you, light, you do inspire us. Reflect the light, answer the call, rejoice, my friends. Merry Christmas to all.